Today's discussion is going to be about telling family members, friends, and loved ones about your maladaptive daydreaming. Research has shown that over 80% of people with maladaptive daydreaming don't tell anyone in their lives about it. But yet, opening up and letting people know can lift some of the burden and make it easier because there really is nothing to be ashamed of. That said, though, when people we tell don't react the way we want, um, that could certainly uh, leave with negative feelings. So what not to do? What I can tell you from my own experience is I remember decades ago when I was a teenager sitting down and telling my parents, and I was like, look, I have something I need to tell you. And I made a big deal about it. And then when I said, you know, I, I believe I'm addicted to daydreaming, they just laughed. Um, that was the response. Everybody daydreams and they thought it was horribly funny. And obviously that was devastating to me because this is something that, that I, was really upsetting to me and finally had the nerve to tell them. And through the years, I had told many doctors as well who also laughed and said no one could be addicted to daydreaming. So since then, I've learned that, that one of the things that gets in our way is the word daydreaming because daydreaming is such an innocuous activity that everybody does it. So I think it's better to let people know, instead of using the word daydreaming, that I have these imaginary worlds in my head that I know that they're not real so that no one thinks that, that you're psychotic or, or hallucinating. I know they're not real, um, but I hate how consuming they become. Um, they're difficult to limit and, and I can spend hours and days in it and explain how it impairs your life. What's available to you now that I didn't have back then is that there's research and literature on the topic. So it's really helpful to bring them articles on the, on the topic. There's an article I did in the Atlantic about my experience. And there's also a lot of uh, research articles that show can show people that it's a real disorder currently under study. Um, and you can find those at maladaptivedaydreamers.com. Don't expect them to get it right away, right? Um, but show them the material, let them know how you feel, and you might be surprised um, that they come around and, and can be supportive. And if not, that's okay, you know, then maybe you want to find a mental health professional um, or have someone else that you can speak to.